Panorama's Fred Emery and Sue Lawley from the 9 o'clock news present a review of the past year's memorable and amusing events in Review 83 in half an hour. First on BBC One, some often irreverent aspects of the year, as we recall the best of three of a kind. Another bird impression. <coughs> this one is a bird impression, a swift. You want to see it again? <laughs> Very good, boy. Well. Well. There's a coupon here for baked beans with 10% off. 10%? That's four out of every 12, isn't it? <laughs> That's not right. Well, what is it, then? It's not right selling baked beans when four out of every 12 are off. <laughs> how can you tell? Who well, stands to reason? No, no, how can you tell which ones are off? <laughs> They're the ones that you don't eat. <laughs> I haven't eaten beans for years. No wonder they've gone off. <laughs> Christ, Chrissy, when are you going to get a job? I don't know, Angie, I don't know. To eat is black stuff. We've had boiled black stuff, grilled black stuff, black stuff pudding, black stuff in their jackets. Their kids are sick of it. They've got black stuff coming out of their ears. What kids? What do you mean, what kids? We've got two kids. Since when? Since about 12 years ago. Oh, that's bloody great, that is. On top of everything else, I've got two kids. Nobody tells me anything. Oh, Christ, Chrissy. I don't think I can take any more. Neither can I. Two kids is more than enough for me. Thank you very much. And another thing. Who's he? It's Bugsy Malone. He's a salt of the air. I don't care who he is. He keeps wandering in it in his pyjamas and going to sleep in our beds. Ah, Bugs is all right. How are you feeling, Bugs? <laughs> great. But not as great as the old days. Salty. Wooden tops. Bevan. Ashley and Andy Bandy. Oh, Chrissy, why don't you fight back? Where's all your spirit gone? I drank it all last night. <laughs> if you don't do something, I'm leaving you. You really know how to hurt me, girl. Why is that? You're standing on me, Veruca. Rin Tin Tin, Lassie, Champion the Wonder Horse, Muffin the Mule, and I just refuse to believe that there's no hope. <laughs> Look, he's dying on our floor. He's got to die somewhere. Oh, but Christ, Chrissy, he could have done it outside. Look, he's got black stuff all over the liner. You're not on there, Angie. Right, that's it. I'm going to go and shoot the geese. But you shot them yesterday. I can shoot them again, can't I? Bloody geese, they never learn. <laughs> There's your dinner. Oh. Roast geese with black stuffing. <laughs> What's that? It's the Dole Inspector. Oh, Christ, Chrissy! Whatever you do, girl, don't let him in. Oh, no, who is it? What do you want? And go away! <laughs> oh, my God, I don't believe this. What are you doing here? I'm the Dole Inspector. I've got a job. <laughs> Thing. You're a lousy lover. How can you tell in two minutes? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome the world's premier trumpeter, Mr. Dizzy Gillespie. <laughs> How many 
times have I told you to stop playing with that calculator? 34. <laughs> you have been found guilty of this crime. As capital punishment has been abolished, I shall sentence you to be taken from here and brought to another place where you will be hung by the neck until you are very poorly. <laughs> When I first joined the force, you know, there was only three of us in the entire constabulary with an O-level to our name. <laughs> of course, things have changed since then. Yeah. Sarge? Yeah? What's an O-level? Toby, Toby Larone. <laughs> Barry! Barry Roundtree! <laughs> you old cad, Barry, how are you? <laughs> Super sweetie. <laughs> good news, good news. Well, how's Twix with you, Calypsus? <laughs> bon, bon. Yeah. I have had a bit of truffle with my Watsits. <laughs> Watsits? What's that? Watsits, that's what. Oh, you've got a jelly belly baby. <laughs> Here. How's Cherry? Oh, gone nuts. <laughs> I was very fond of her because she was so confectionery, you know. <laughs> but she's changed her tune. She's gone absolutely mental. <laughs> Jerry, menthol? Yeah, she's gone round the aniseed twist, you and off with Bertie Bassett. <laughs> well, takes all sorts. <laughs> hey, did you know I've got a new poppet? <laughs> I don't know why you bother. Those sherbets are two a penny. Canopy, flossy, mivy, right load of dolly mixtures. <laughs> Come on, this one's a bit more Neapolitan. I met her at the cabana. Where? It's a smart new club. You have to wear a penguin to get in. <laughs> Here, hang on a mint. Is she Malteser? <laughs> Turkish, actually. A delight, if you must know, smarty pants. <laughs> oh, she's always cream egging me on. <laughs> what revels we have. <laughs> she undoes my buttons, and she runs her chocolate fingers through my aero, <laughs> and down through my curly whirlies. <laughs> oh, sounds like a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always say you can't beat a girl after eight. <laughs> This is with a walnut whip. <laughs> yes, and on that topic, I had a love at once. She was a great comfort to me. After eight, her tutti fruities would go all crunchy and wriggly. <laughs> she made my gums whine, my nuts cluster, and my tea nut brittle. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I didn't go all the Milky Way. Oh. Actually, she ran off with a fisherman's friend. <laughs> that must have been a bit hard to swallow. Yes, but what I used to like is what used to happen after dinner. Oh, the cures? Mind your own business. <laughs> Hello? <sighs> Who is this, please? <sighs> Hello? Carol? <laughs> uh, could I have another glass? I can't get this mat off. Oh, it must be a dirty glass. Here, use that one. All oh, right. your left foot over your right thigh and raise yourself up on your hands right now some of you beginners may have got stuck so this is what you do to get yourself free to get yourself free to get yourself free to get yourself free Now listen, you guys, I got a great idea. Now listen, we're the toughest gang on the west side, right? Yeah, right. right. And we spend all our time fighting the stingrays, right? Yeah, 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 and cutting them to pieces. And barbecuing them over the fire. Right. <laughs> listen, we shouldn't be here rotting in this symbol of urban decay and uh, misguided uh, post-war uh, planning. Uh, we should be out there. Yeah, out there. In the river? No. <laughs> out there. On the east side, yeah. where the bright lights are, um, Bright? Yeah, bright. You mean... Yeah, we should be 
developing our natural talents, oh, man. Oh, yeah, you mean like having silicone implants? <laughs> no, 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 like joining the New York Academy of Performing Arts. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Learning Woo. to sing! Right, learning to dance! Yeah, learning to wear those fancy leg warmers. Yeah. Because we, we want... want Orson Welles. Maybe you'd like to reflect on the fact that many years ago, I made a movie called Citizen Kane, which has been widely recognized as the greatest film ever made. And I still end up doing voiceovers for crummy lagers. <laughs> Carlsberg. Probably the only job he can get nowadays. You've seen the film. You've read the book. You've counted the Oscars. Now, buy the doll. <laughs> The handy Bendy Gandhi. <laughs> Complete with his own wardrobe and detachable loincloth, buy one and you get four million followers free. As recommended by Bendy Kingsley. <laughs> around the swimming pool, showing off my legs. Oh, I drive them wild. <laughs> there he. Ah, oh, oh, don't do that. I'll do myself a mischief. What oh. are you doing sitting down? You've got 300 chalice to clean out before then. <laughs> you can do it yourself. Don't you dare talk to me like that. I tell Mr. Fair, brother. Tell who you like, big bum. What does it? He won't listen to you anyway. Yes, he will. Jeffrey and I are very close. Uh, he thinks you're an old slag. He's been having an affair with somebody else. That's Sylvia. She seduced him into a nest of corruption. <laughs> it's not Sylvia. It's me. We've been having a wild, passionate, steamy, sensuous affair ever since he arrived. Why do you think my glasses are always steamed up? He wouldn't do that to me. No, so he's doing it to me instead. For what? I'd kill him for this. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what have I done? Oh, what's Miss Cascart going to say now? <laughs> Why do I? <laughs> well, please yourself. Oh, Ted, Ted, have you seen Mr. Fair, brother? Aye, I saw him just now. Oh, what did he say? Not much. He's lying in the swimming pool with a knife in his back. <laughs> First rule of comedy, Peggy. Never turn your back on audience. Oh, oh what about Gladys? Oh, she's hung herself on big wheel. Oh. Going up in the world at last. Get it? Oh, oh it's all my fault. Uh, oh. Listen, come here. Don't get flustered. Take one of these. Oh. It'll make you feel better. Oh, good. Oh, what is it? Arsenic. Oh, never be a yellow coat, no. Right, ah, that's it. You'll love a bit of tragedy. Everybody dying like flies. Remember, second rule of comedy. Get out at show before fourth series. A cup of tea seems to sum up everything a policeman's about. Good, honest, dependable. Fancy a cup, Sarge. Got any coffee? Good evening. Reports coming up. Traffic on the A40 reached a peak today when the system Hello, I'm collecting for Alcoholics Anonymous. I wonder if you could, uh... <laughs> It is done. We are brothers in the blood of our fathers. 
Go in safety, Indian agent, into the land of the Blackfeet, and let all men know that you are the sworn blood brother to the great warrior of the hills, Big Chief Hepatitis Carrier. <laughs> Is this seat taken? Yes. You mean, you're saving it for me? No, no, my friend's sitting there. And is she as beautiful as you? <laughs> no, he's as ugly as you. Hey, I like a chick with a sense of humor. Yeah, you'd have to wearing that outfit. Okay, okay, let's cut out the small talk. Let's talk about you. Where do you keep yourself? Have you always been so beautiful? Why haven't I seen you before? Well, that's enough about you. I expect you want to know all about me. Let's just say that tonight, honey, you hit the jackpot. What do you call yourself? Unlucky. Hey, yeah, yeah. Nice name, nice name. And is there anyone hanging around you at the moment that you like? No, not this precise moment, no. Hey, but you must find me attractive. Sorry? Don't apologize. All right, let's get out of here. My car's outside and my flat's empty. Yeah, I can see why. Are you coming? Listen, are you coming with me or not? No. That's what they all say. I'm sure they do, yeah. Okay, I'm going through that door, honey. And when it closes, it closes forever. <laughs> Playing hard to get, are we? <laughs> Everyone, I'm Clayton, and I'm an alternative comedian. <laughs> well, I'm a dog. You can't get more alternative than that, can you? you know? <laughs> anyway, I'm a canine comedian. That's catchy, isn't it? You know. <laughs> anyway, um, let me tell you a bit about myself. I got into comedy when I was a kid. Well, actually, I was a puppy. <laughs> it's goat in it, anyway, you know. And um, I had a lot of problems, because I'm a mongrel. My dad wasn't so much cross-bred, he was more cross-eyed, you know. <laughs> Clayton the canine comedian. Now let's get to the woofers. Get it, woofers. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the routine. Anyway, I was out on the street the other night, right, cruising along with my walkman. <laughs> That's the guy I take for walks. <laughs> and we were walking for ages and ages and ages and ages. Don't worry, it's a shaggy human story. <laughs> anyway, I got taken short, so I found a public convenience. You know the ones with the lights on top so you can see what you're doing. <laughs> and what happens, right, I got hassled by an Alsatian. I mean, them police dogs, if they see you coming, it's stop and sniff, no questions asked, you know. <laughs> They're right pain in the bum. Anyway, after a bit, he starts looking at me and asking really stupid questions like, is that your coat, Sonny? You know? <laughs> have you been drinking? I mean, of course, I've been drinking. What was I doing at a public convenience if I hadn't been? You know? <laughs> anyway, I was lucky because he saw a peak and ease down the road and he hates them more than he hates mongrels, you know. <laughs> I'm a mongrel, but I'm not breedist, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, <laughs> you're slow, but you'll pick up. Anyway, uh, anyway, I legged it right, and when I got home, right, when I got home, I found that there were a whole load of burglars hanging about. Well, I was really scared, but then I remembered, right, that a dog is a man's best friend, so I showed him round the house. <laughs> <laughs> when my master got home, he was furious. Well, you know how temperamental humans are, and he threatened to throw me out. I said, you wouldn't throw a dog out on a night like this. Do you know what? He did. <laughs>
Sir. No, I thought I'd uh... sign the book. <laughs> That'll be ten pound fifty. That's a bit steep, isn't it? It includes membership. Here, Monica, you seen them membership cards anywhere? Dozy. Here, that's your membership, all right? Here, you got any weapons, flip knives, chisels, razor blades? No, no, nothing like that, honest. You better take this then, it's a bit rough in there. <laughs> Come on, darling, push. Oh, no, it's no good. Please, darling, push and breathe. Push and breathe. Come on, darling. Please try harder. Push. I'm not I'm not Oh, darling, I'm so tired. I'm really upsetting. Cheers. At the celebrity wine tasting, I carried out the opening ceremony. At the celebrity wine tasting, I carried out the closing ceremony. At the celebrity wine tasting, I carried out Oliver Reed. <laughs> Ciao. That's European for high, okay? <laughs> I'm Ros Wright. And I'm like really into this European kick, you know? I mean, hey. Listening, the really beautiful thing about Europe, right, is that it's just like Britain, except it's abroad. Okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. And like, they even use some of the same words. I mean, in Germany, like, I was really amazed to hear people saying ja. <laughs> and guess what, right? It turns out that that's German for ja. <laughs> I mean, that really freaked me out, okay? <laughs> right, and the other great thing about Germany, right, is that it's got its own CND party. The Greens, yeah? And, like, I was really instrumental in starting up the Greens. I mean, uh, before I, I joined, I mean, they hadn't even decided on a colour. <laughs> like, the reason we chose green, right, was because, like, plants are green. Yeah? OK, vegetables are green. And, like, they've got as much right to protest against the bomb as people. But then, right, when it comes to the election, not one plant voted for us. <laughs> so after that, like, I got really disillusioned with politics. Yeah, OK, OK. So that's why, OK, I think more Brits should go to Europe. Cos, I mean, all you need to get you there is, like, what I've got, you know? the right vibes, and a really open persona, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah. And bloody rich parents. <laughs> More like the appearances, Arthur is an ordinary man, a normal, healthy member of society. But he has a problem. Arthur's life is badly edited. <laughs> when did it all start? Well, that's the problem, you see. Uh, my whole life has been out of sequence, edited. I don't know whether I'm coming or... or coming. Does this mean you have trouble getting work? No, but I often have trouble getting to work. <laughs> then when I am at work, it's not always easy to get home. Where do you think you're going, Arthur? I'm the only man I know who works a 398-hour week. Do you find it interferes with your private life? What private life? That was wonderful. Darling. Are there any advantages to this condition? Well, yes, I have got an over-60s bus pass, but when I try to use it... They tell me I'm too young. What about side effects? Well, no side effects as such. Just the feeling that there's... Sing from my life. That and a general lack of continuity. Oh, no, not this shirt. I threw this thing away last week. I mean, this thing's been haunting me since I was a kid. <laughs> Half a lager, please, Ange. Hey, where's Bob? Oh, it won't be a minute. He's just putting a new barrel on. <laughs> What's the matter? Can't sleep. Too tense. 
Too wound up? Something on your mind? What is it? Um, I'm wondering what the hell you lot are doing in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Can't you read? <laughs> and a uh, point. There you go. <laughs> you know, it happens every night. Beer always goes straight to my head. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a special extravaganza of all star entertainment featuring dozens of international celebrities coming to you from that world famous night spot. The Mug and Handbag Pub down the old Kent Road. Introduced by Africa's leading comedian, Mr. Joshua Yala. Katanga, my friends. Katanga. Mbutuwenge, budungi. Okay, my name is Joshua Okapi Yalag, but you can call me Mwenge Kobundo Sulemo, <laughs> which means I think you're the most talented person in the whole universe. <laughs> okay, Mwenge. Now, I am Africa's leading comedian. It's difficult being a comedian in Africa. People keep laughing at you all the time. <laughs> now, let's get to the jokes quick before the audience run out. <laughs> okay. A man came out to me. He said, my dog's got no nose. I said, well, you better get him to a vet pretty damn quick. <laughs> Another man came out to me. He said, why did the chicken cross the road? I said, how the hell should I know? <laughs> Another man came out to me. He said, knock, knock. I said, listen, stop knocking on me. I'm picking up somebody your own size. <laughs> so I've been doing all this knock, knocking business. <laughs> Another man came out to me. I said, if any more of you stupid men come out to me, I'm going to get really bloody angry. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and now, and now, some of my world famous impressions. First of all, my impression of Humphrey Bogart in that marvelous scene from Casablanca. <laughs> in all the bars, in all the cities, in all the places, all over the place. How come you come into this place and not only that, you're ten bloody minutes late? You're just looking at me, kid. <laughs> I would like to finish with an African farmyard impression. Hey, get off that tractor! <laughs> it's okay, you're slow, but you'll do for me. And now, and now, on with the show. And what a great show it is. Will you please welcome Rini and Rotunda? <laughs> Shorty was fat and the hairs on his chest were 
people me guns i'm a private i'll keep getting arrested <laughs> i've eaten beans for years no wonder they've gone off <laughs> you you should try green beans I, is that what color they go when they go off <laughs> no the green ones are frozen i thought you go blue when you're frozen <laughs> perhaps beans are colorblind <laughs> blind and he went off. <laughs> off where? Off baked beans. <laughs> but I like baked beans. Do you want the coupon? <laughs> here, there's a bit missing. I told you it had 10% off. 